Hey, this is Matt with Digital Trends, and today we are taking a look at the HP Omni 27. This is an all-in-one computer, and uh, with a 27-inch display, it is larger than most of the all-in-ones on the market. Most are going to be 21 to 23 inches. Uh, as far as uh, we're aware right now, at this moment in North America, Asus and Apple are the only companies making competitors to this. Um, now, this is not a touchscreen. Uh, the Omni line is different from the HP TouchMart in that it does not have uh, touchscreen capability, but otherwise it's very similar. In fact, this particular model is, uh, in, as far as aesthetics goes, very similar to the HP TouchSmart 520 that we reviewed a few months ago. Now the 27-inch display on this computer is 1080p, which of course sounds like quite a high resolution. That's what you get on a lot of HD TVs. However, due to how close that you usually sit to a computer and the size of the screen, again, it's 27 inches, it's larger than most all-in-ones, the result is actually a bit of a fuzzy image. It doesn't look quite as crisp as you might be expecting. Now, it's not really a problem with media. Uh, this computer looks quite good uh, when you're watching movies, playing games, but if you're doing a lot of productivity or a lot of web browsing, you will notice it and can be a bit of a problem. Uh, audio quality is quite good on this computer. It has the Beats audio branding. Uh, in this particular model, you're talking about not just stereo speakers, but actually um, a subwoofer that's nestled somewhere inside the chassis. and actually has decent bass and good crisp sound. The only real issue is the same one that you get with all all-in-ones, which is there's no real sound staging. There's a little bit of surround from left and right, but because the speakers are pretty much always right in front of you, you don't get uh, very good 3D sound effects. The review unit HP Omni 27 that we received is actually a base model. So it's got a Core i5 2400S processor, uh, which is a low voltage version of the normal Core i5 desktop processors. That unfortunately uh, does reduce performance and we're really looking at something that's just a little bit better than you would get from a Core i5 laptop part in most situations. Which is to say it's still quite fast, but not as fast as a normal desktop. Uh, the bigger problem from a performance perspective is the eight Intel HD 2000 graphics, uh, which really is inadequate for most 3D gaming uh, it does handle 1080p video just fine, but if you want to do any sort of games, uh, you're really going to be wanting something more. Uh, there are discrete graphic options available on this particular model, but that wasn't on our review unit. This computer usually runs around $1,100 online at HP's website. Now, there are some coupons floating around online for it that can re reduce that amount by a few hundred dollars. And so this actually is, considering the size and all the hardware you get, one of the, sort of the budget option of the category. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best value. The iMac does offer much better screen resolution, much faster performance. Uh, so if you have the money to spend, it's really worthwhile to probably go for that higher in iMac option. Now we should say this with a caveat, which is, Ivy Bridge versions of this computer are on the way. It's confirmed by HP. They're coming uh, towards the end of June. And this is going to bring better performance on the processor and more importantly, better performance in the integrated graphics part. This could solve a lot of problems we have with the system, uh, but for right now, the current version, it's really more of a budget option than a high performance, high end option. 